All right, and uh, uh, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also um, on YouTube, if you're watching this in the future, for our next deck, which is going to be Bant Angels. So this is a donation deck, and you can always tell by the donation decks that say up here. And so usually the donation decks are not the... Uh, not like a 75 that I put together, but they're a deck that somebody donated for. And if you ever would uh, like to donate to see your deck on stream, if you head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash go down to the info, go to the info panels. Uh, you can click on the donation banner uh, to donate there, and there's lots of information about that as well. So our deck here that we're going to be trying out is uh, Bant Angels. Um, I've always talked about how band color combinations have a lot of good cards in them, but finding exactly what which ones to play is kind of tough. And so here we're trying out a new configuration. So we have our our fast our fast mana uh, with land where else and incubation druid, and um, tons of angels to back them up. That we're going to try to play ahead of curve with resplendent shalai and lyra, three copies of each. Um, also have some Majani's to make our creatures bigger, Vivian and Hydroid Crisis for our card advantage, and Deputy and Seal Away for some removal. So um, we'll kind of see how this plays out. M mass manipulation looks kind of exciting in the sideboard. Um, it is, like, looking at our mana base here, we can tell that we're really focused on green and white quite a bit, with us even having a Slesnia Guildgate and not really any Hinchelin Harbors. Um, so I'm a little worried about the mass manipulation with uh, our man, our blue mana sources. It looks like we have 12 blue mana sources, but the thing about mass manipulation is that kind of card, you really want to have an incubation uh, druid uh, in play. Because once you, once you have this in play, then you're kind of good to go. So let's see how this works. Some Bant Angels. <laughs> yeah, the, the camera's just for Hawkeye. It's not for me. The camera does pen. Ah, attack of the pen. Rawr. All right, this one looks a little better. Okay. Yeah, that last that last deck was pretty mean. It was rude. So my emotes are getting made right now. MTG Nerd Girl, and we're I get ordered six emotes, and so. Um, hopefully they're done here in a, in a couple of days. Uh, they already got like the the sketch and approved them all. They all look good. So we'll hopefully have a bunch of new emotes for the channel. Yeah, from your artist. Um, we're gonna have a a Santa emote for when people gift out subs. We're gonna have a good game emote with Hawkeye. Um, we're gonna have um, a cat butt emote. All right, Esper Control. Let's play this. And. Not the best draw there. Um, a couple other ones too. Still no land? This isn't going so well. Yeah, we're playing against a stray cat. I don't think we're going to win this game. It's getting stuck on two lands like this. One Wrath, and we're just kind of dead. The Lyras aren't very good. Seal Away's not very good. Yeah, this isn't looking good. 
But I guess if they don't have a wrath, though, it starts looking a little better. Not a whole lot better, but a little better. Hmm, what if I seal away that? Is that weird? Oh, right. I can't seal away that. Opponent controls. Why can't I get... I want to get my own tap creatures. That's lame. I won't hide from the world any longer. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, well, that didn't work. I certainly think my opponent has Absorb for how they were sitting there thinking about when I played the Krasis earlier. Certainly think they have Absorb. Alright, bye Hawkeye. Time for plan B. Keep up the pace. All right, well, now we're just dead. Especially if they have Absorb. Stuff being control game one. Especially when it's stuck on mana. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. They have eight cards in hand. Hold that thought. Nine. And you know, they got to scry three before drawing like those other three. All right, so these first five cards aren't any good. All right, so we got Disdainful Stroke, a bunch of Negates, another Vivian, a Teferi. Not a whole lot against control. It's some. It's something. Gosh, all these deputy attentions. Don't want all these either. Hmm. I guess I can play Knight of Autumn as a 4 3. Johnny Stefani with that tier one sub for 10 months in a row. Thank you so much, Johnny Stefani. Thank you so much. So that's um, sub number four on the day. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> well, the thing, BRZ, yeah, so you're saying cut some of the mana creatures because they're just going to get wrapped. The thing is I have nothing to bring in. I don't want these deputies in my deck. Um, I, I don't want any of these cards in my deck, so I can't I can't really cut other things. Um, yeah, I don't I don't have anything else to bring in. Zero born, thanks zero born. In a sub number five, that means it's gonna be pack time after this. Ooh, that's an emo we're getting. We're getting a, a pack opening emo. Um, yep, that's gonna be a new emo. Awesome, Zerf. Glad you're. Uh, getting those alternate art dresses. How many lands are we playing? 24? It's not... 
A whole lot. Still shows 109 here. What a tough match. Just stuck on two lands game one and then stuck on one land game two. It's not, you know, this is not tough for us here. So my, pl my only plan here is to have these branch walkers be able to finish it out and have a negate for a sweeper. You know, at least I got I got a two turn clock. Hopefully they just have a bunch of counter spells in their hand. Hey, we got there. Yeah, just a bunch of counter spells. Good job, Branch Walker. Branch Walker could do things like that. Oh, there's another Knight of Autumn in the sideboard? I missed that, so... Let's bring in that other Knight of Autumn for the Deputy. Yeah, I don't know. I did that yesterday, too, with somebody, too, Zero Born. So, I don't know. Exclamation point deck's got to work for somebody. Holy crap. We just don't see any lands in any of these hands. So I figured this hand, as opposed to five, we could maybe start getting these incubation druids out and get to a quick Vivian. If we're fortunate. Find a land. There we go. Well darn. Well darn. Yeah, I could have held up negate into Sainful Stroke for a turn there. But now they're on Teferi Mana, so I certainly want to hold up the counter spell on Teferi Mana. And we're playing 24, but the 24 hasn't, certain, hasn't seemed like very much. Doesn't seem like 24 has been enough. Yeah, I, I would certainly play 25 in this kind of deck. Um, but yeah, that's... Yeah, it's been just a, a pretty short... Very small sample of just like the three games, but... Yeah, I, I certainly think we need 25 lands. Especially since we don't have J Light Rangers. Like maybe if you're you know if you're playing J Light Rangers like in the Sultai deck, um, maybe. But They just let that get countered. It's kind of weird. For 
still in there. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Go, Vivian, go. Come on, Vivian, you can do it. Right, okay. Not Vivian. dead yet. We had one chance. That card's pretty good. Scry three, draw three. That is really good. Hmm. Uh, let's hope no counter spell. I don't think it gets better for us. Like, our opponent has so much mana that we're not going to be, like, having our opponent tap out ever. And if I, you know, if I try to play, like, Shalai, for example, to, to try to bait a counter spell with Shalai, they could just sweep it up with Kaya's Wrath. So, yeah. I think that was a good time to, to try. I feel like we've attacked them for a bunch and they're still at 18. Gaining six life from absorbs. That'll do it. Yeah, that's that's like the that's the pull to playing Esper, of course, is having duress to go with counter magic. I mean, we did have counter magic, you know, like we we did counter to fairy, that was awesome. You know, the negate got thought erasured. So can't complain too much. I think this is just going to be a really tough matchup for us. I can move long. Let's skip to the good part. See, imagine if they just took every single turn from here. That would have been really bad. being on the Esper side of the creature matchup a little bit ago. Four mana sweeper with Kaya's Wrath. I was honestly surprised when they printed that. I was, you know, I didn't think a four mana sweeper would be coming back. It's pretty... Pretty surprised about that one. Okay, 
Bant Angels. Let's try to not miss land drops right away. We didn't play a third land in any of those games. We didn't hit a third land drop. Hey, we got four lands. This is a good hand. Yeah, the BB, you know, that mana cost, BB white white, is, is certainly not, it's not free. Do need to work for it a little bit. Hmm. Shall I? Doom Whisper. I was planning on seal seal away ing that uh I was planning on casting Seal Away on the Land War Elf here. Um, but then with drawing the Deputy, we just get to do that. Um. Vivian's a little bit of a problem. If I go like Vivian minus to kill the Krasis, I could just go Vivian plus. I can't play Vivian and Seal Away, which is like the big problem. I think I'm just going to kind of sit back. Um, be able to activate Shalai or Incubation Druid. Most likely Incubation Druid. Okay, not Vivian. That's good news. Oh yeah, yeah, Kaiserath is, is okay. Yeah, I was just saying that I was surprised that, that it was printed. I think it's fine though. I don't think it's too good necessarily. Hmm. Let's just cast this thing. Draw three. There we go. Be able to continue to hit land drops. Get more mana, more cards. Should have attacked the previous turn with Shalai. With having Seal Away in my hand, I think I should have attacked. Looks like they're just stuck on four mana. Yeah, gotta be gotta be careful with auto tap on the creature for sure. Good call there. I think I do want this creature tapped though. Yeah. If you can't stop nature. This this allows me to keep my two mana up for seal away. I mean, this is really the only way to to play these cards. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, so why did I do Druid activation before instead of pumping everyone with Shalai, where like the pump with Shalai would turn on Incubation Druid also? Um, is because I wanted the, the Incubation Druid to be a 3-5 to be able to attack over so a Jade Light no Ranger said restoration was if my opponent played Vivian Reed the next turn, which is what I was expecting. I was expecting that, you know, like, you know, I was just thinking like five mana, they, they play Vivian Reed, kill my Shalai. I wanted them to have to jump block with their Jade Light Ranger on the Incubation Druid. Um, that was my thinking there. So let's get Manipulation, Vivian to Fairy, Settle, Settle. Is this what the Sky Tethers are for? No. No, Sky Tethers for aggro. Um, Stainful Stroke's also probably really good. But that's a lot of cards, so those are the cards I'm considering. Don't think I want a Johnny. Alright, that gets us to 65. Lyra. This, this matchup is the biggest problem for the Angel decks. Uh, well, I mean, never mind. Control is, but... Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, um, and Vivian are all really good against these flyers. I kind of want to just trim these these flyers. Maybe we don't need three Vivians. We're gonna take a Vivian out, take a Lyra out, and a Shalai out. Or a Resplendent. Oh, I gotta take out some more cards. Uh, really quickly. I guess I took out one of each and took out a Branch Walker because I was. Um, a little panicking there. Realized that we had to take out more cards. I like Settle quite a bit in this matchup. Is today the 15th? Yes, it is. Our hand's not the best, but we're up a game. So we can kind of keep this slow hand and see if we draw one of our eight mana creatures that helps speed it up. Um, Cause it is powerful. Contempt. So I guess July's getting contempted. It's just one for one, though. It's not as bad as like Chupacabra, you know, that's like a, you know, Kills the Shalai and stays out, like the two, two, two body stays out kind of thing. So the opponent can surveil Let's enough to be able to find some answer for the branch walker and then be able to kill branch walker and kill vivian we can't really stop that though
Like it's a little riskier if I wait. Um, if I just pass turn here and just try to settle the two, they probably just um, pay enough life to be able to have like this is duress or negate kind of thing. And then that's kind of tough for me. Because then that, that counters a settle and then I'm like really far behind. as bad. I think my plan now Balance is settle. Comes. Even though you know, like this is a really big giveaway. With our opponent knowing about Resplendent Angel and we're just not casting it. It's a very big giveaway. Resolve. Okay, good. Got Krasis out of there for good. So they can't keep falling it back. That's that's definitely strong. They, of course, have the uh, Doom Whisper. They get to folly back. Um, but, you know, that's... Doom Whisper doesn't just draw a bunch of cards immediately like Krasis does. I've lost the wilds <laughs> yeah, on Nexus my shield. Done. Welcome back, Duke. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um. <laughs> oh, I do have the fancy elves. I guess I just forgot to switch them over. But yeah, no, I have those elves as well. Yeah, but I guess I forgot to, to switch him. So what do you got, opponent? So are they going to minus three their Vivian? That okay, can't they are. help you now. So now Resplendent can maybe take out Vivian. That'd be nice if they if they don't have removal in one of these two uh, cards. Okay. Well, that I still I get to kill that with my Vivian. Yeah. I same same. I really hope they change that back where we can change the basic lands. So I don't I don't like these basic lands that we have to use. Feel the wrath of Scala. I also think it would make a lot of sense to. And there we go. I'll do it. I was all right. So my, my plan this turn was I was not planning on playing Dawnbringer or Krasis. I was just going to activate the Resplendent and hit them for hit the uh, Viv, kill the Vivian and get a get a token. So I just you know get the token for free. That was my plan for that turn. So I could just still save the the Krasis and the Lyra for later. And just get a, a free 4 4 on the battlefield. Man. Man, uh. Something that we do not have ever. Certainly making this look like 24 lands um, is not possible. <laughs> These games. That's the biggest thing we've seen so far. Okay. 
It is good to strength. Alright, so now Incubation Druid will be able to add a lot of mana for us. It would have been a lot better for us if I could have tapped Llanowar Elf and the three lands to cast a Johnny and then be able to use Druid to cast a Branch Walker. That would have certainly been a, been better for us. Alright, that's not so bad. You only the a Johnny best. already did its job. That's not so bad. Resplendent Angel can take over this game. Yeah, Resplendent Angel can certainly take over the game. Getting that extra mana with Incubation Druid. Pretty important. So if I don't block... If I don't block these things, I'm just taking 8 and going to 7. Either that or I double block. And only take 4 and have the land wear off die. Then I'm 3, 4, 5, 6... Hmm. Maybe I should have just played the Branch Walker instead of holding up Seal Away here. With having Resplendent Angel. Maybe I should just play this other Branch Walker. Whoa. Uh oh. Is a Johnny even good? Why am I keeping a Johnny? What does a Johnny do? Our kinship ensures our victory. Be strong. I don't think I should have kept a Johnny. So I, I cannot activate Resplendent Angel and cast a Johnny. Like that's that's the big problem. Kind of blocked the wrong thing. Go on without me. Blocked the wrong card. And we see the power of Resplendent Angel here in this game. Build just to gain us so much life. Um. Activate that first. You should be proud to have come so far. I will lend you my strength. They're all about the early chump blocking. That thing's pretty good for me. No. My resplendent angel. Well, we still got a good amount of flyers. We have, what, 14 power flying on the battlefield right now? And they're at 17. Right? No. So do they have they have like Pride of the Conquerors on top? Maybe. Let's just have Branch Walker. Yeah, so they have Pride right there. We have enough life. We can just take that. We don't need our flyers to die. Deliver us to victory.
All right, they're down to one. Can they kill us? Threw a seal away. And all these blockas. Well, there goes one, one blocker. Two turns away from ultimating a Johnny, too. So Pride of, the, Pride of the Conquerors is going to kill. So they'll have their 4-4. So they'll kill one of my flyers with that. But not the other one. Um, because we're taking the Benelish Marshal away. Okay. That was pretty impressive that we still got there. Um, let's get these settles in. The Knight of Autumns. Negate kind of seems... Yeah, Resplendent did so much. Negate actually kind of seems okay with all of their enchantments and Pride of the Conquerors. And, you know, History Banalia, Experimental Frenzy, all their enchantment removal. Um, we saw them have a Johnny... Pride of the Conquerors. I'm sure they have heroic reinforcements. Um, I kind of feel like Negate's going to do a whole lot for us. Seems like it counters kind of everything. And I guess we got some Path to Exiles here. So that's the last stuff to bring in. So we got to cut 10 cards. Ugh, Johnny's the first thing out. Get rid of Vivian too. Okay, maybe trim some mana creatures here because we're going to be lowering our curve. Maybe we don't need like all these land war elves and druids. Um, I think I like deputy of detentions. Yeah, I like deputy, especially with Shalai. Good call on the 30 seconds there. Um, I'm going to just cut Land War Elf. And two Crisis. Cutting Land War because we don't have very many green stuff. You know, certainly could be... Could be incorrect, you know, cutting it down an acceleration card like Land War Elf. But with all this extra interaction... Game going longer. Not a card we want to draw. Alright. Let's turn one path to exile. Get that thing out of here. Hey, hazy lad going really good today. I actually ha I had a lot of fun playing um, Esper taking turns earlier. It wasn't chat's favorite deck. Had some complaints about it. Um, you know, people don't like taking all the turns as much, but it felt really good. Um, I think it was pretty powerful and everything. All the one drops.
so yeah, I've had fun today. And now you know, we got this donation deck, and then uh, playing two decks, two other decks that I really enjoy. After this as well. So the Rakdos, so my Rakdos Burn deck, like my version of Rakdos Burn is a whole lot different from other people's versions of, of Burn, just kind of in general. Um, I'm really playing a kind of like a control version of Burn. It's weird. <laughs> it's just kind of what I do every day, Glaive. You know, like this is my my job, uh, streaming every day here, and yeah, just kind of kind of used to it. Um, yeah, we've been on for just th we've been on for three hours so far today. Yeah, Lyra is definitely a great draw. Definitely a great draw, and especially how we have the Knight of Autumn in backup. So even if they have Conclave Tribunal, um, or something like that I for the Lyra, we would have need of the Knight of Autumn to be able to free it. See in yourself what I, I see, see in you. you. It was a little weird that they put the counter on the healer's hawk, um, considering they were just jump blocking with it. Sky Tether probably saved us a bunch of life earlier. Look how far you have come. Sky Tether's been pretty good. <laughs> so do I want to seal away the 5-5? Five five? Or the indestructible 4-2? Probably the 5-5. Five five. So if I activate Incubation Druid immediately, I don't get to keep Seal Away available. I, think I like doing this where I still I have the mana to just adapt the Druid at end step. Yeah, you know, I'm not attacking with the Druid with this Snub Horn and everything. Certainly very scary. Return to the fight. But I'm still kinda I've been representing like another sell the wreckage all these turns. So our opponent's been yeah, very wary about attacking into a settle. Yeah, the video for the song is really good. I've actually, I haven't seen very many music videos, but I've seen this one, and it was really good. Uh, some people rollerblading at night, like behind a car, like on, on a road behind a car. Um, and so it was like dark, but like the headlights from the car 
It was really cool. You are capable of more than you assume. So I'm, I'm glad they didn't just minus a Johnny again, so this time we can actually kill a Johnny. What is this attack about? It's just going to use their Pride of the Conquerors to kill the Druid. I guess I'd rather them use the Pride of the Conquerors now than later. Which I guess I should have double blocked then in that case. Um... Our opponent's scared to settle the wreckage, which is why what they're doing. Like we we cast a settle already. They've they've been playing I around settle. Find your path. Like another settle. They're really scared of that. We've had we've held four mana up every single turn ever since that other settle. Like basically since since turn 5 playing Lyra, we've hold, held up 4 mana every turn. And so they're pretty scared. Like to draw one of our Hydroid Crasises, or a Shalai, or a Resplendent Angel, or a Deputy of Detention. I love you so. So these um, knights being 5-4s next turn, and them having like the knights be able to attack through the druid, and like the snubhorn sentry, like having all those being able to attack through a druid next turn, I'm, I'm not going to attack with Lyra. Like right now, if, they, if they're just dealing 6 to me, With them just dealing six to me, um, you know, I'm I'm gaining five a turn with Lyra. Like we're winning that race by a whole lot, but I'm worried about this next turn with History Banalia, um, third chapter happening here. Uh, pumps Benelish Marshall also. You do not have to fight alone. Yeah, the feeling of I'd like to draw any card in my deck, yourself, and then I see in you. we draw, and it's another land. Well, thanks for the thanks for the free five life, opponent. Very kind of you. Remember how we we spent, you know, our first like six games with this deck. Only having Farewell. one or two lands, we could, we could never hit a third land drop. Remember that? And we we're all saying, man, 24 is just way too little lands. You can't play 24 lands in this deck. Now look at us.
Yeah, let's go go on down to 22 lands. <laughs> 24 is too much. <laughs> 24 is way too many. <laughs> Can't be playing 24. In this economy, 24 lands? Just too greedy. Just gonna use another Pride of the Conquerors. Oh, they just want a 4 3 to die? Okay. Do you have any opinions about Super Friends decks in Standard? I've been playing your Azorius Super Friends deck and Best of One to Mild Success. I wonder if there's possible improvements. Yeah, I'm sure there are definitely improvements with that. That was that was a donation deck too. That wasn't like a, a deck I necessarily put together. Um, by necessarily, I mean it wasn't a deck I put together. So yeah, I'm sure there's definitely improvements. The Esper deck we just played, the Esper Taking Turns is, I mean, that's basically Esper Super Friends. Um, you have five different planeswalkers in that deck. Um, and I thought that deck was pretty good, but um, as far as best of one, though, um, Some things that probably have to change. Okay, yeah. Just don't have the cards yet. And Lyra Dawnbringer just kind of taking it over. I wonder how much life we gained with that Lyra. We probably gained like 40 life. And we ended up at 20. Yeah, see, we had, we had that settle the whole time. We had it the whole time. <laughs> Like, reveal our hand, at end of game, reveal hand. See, look at the settle we had this whole time. Two wins in a row. <laughs> the answer is all. We gained all the life. How much life did we gain? All of it. Hmm. Lesnia Guildgate. I forgot we had that in the deck. Ah, uh, Temple Garden, really? We're coming through now. We could add turn two Resplendent Angel. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, sorry, Kalua King, I didn't really see that. So you've been having a lot of success with the Bant Tokens, and you added in a couple Karn and a couple Divine Visitation. What would you take out for those? But yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty interesting. No cast down, please. No cast down, no cast down. No cast down, no cast down. Let me hit with this Resplendent Angel. Okay. Four creatures are pretty good. 
So I assume they're going to spend this turn to contempt the Resplendent Angel. Yep. And then we get to block the Jade Light. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. And good news is our opponent only is at four lands right now. So we you know, we are winning like the man about battle. Um all right, I am going to be playing both of these things and getting bigger druid. Uh, and be able to have, you know, be able to cast an even bigger crisis the next turn. Man, deputy of detention on these land worlds would be kind of nice. All right, how are we doing on mana? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can crisis for twelve. That's a pretty big crisis. Draw six. Yeah, Incubation Druid can allow you to do silly things with Crisis. Alright, so sideboarding against this matchup. Last time we did a couple settles, a mass manipulation, a Teferi. Um, and I think I did, did a couple disdainful strokes as well. Um, it's kind of a hard one to to sideboard against though it's like you know last time we just didn't hit land drops like that you know if we if we hit our land drops and get to cast our expensive stuff we usually do just fine or better at least um resplendent really did a, a good amount of work there I cut Go back to cutting a Lyra and a Shalai. All right, Zero Born. Have a good day. Um, I was asking myself, why is Spawn of Mayhem not a good addition? into the Mardu Angels list in, instead of Benalia. I, mana is kind of a, a trouble, a problem there um, of like double black and then a lot of times there'll be a, a four mana, like basically it's going to be a four mana card in the Mardu Angels list because you're not, you're not attacking early very much with that deck. Um, so it's, it's like another four drop um, with double black and just kind of raises consistency problems due to that. Well, we already have four of our 12 blue sources, so that's good news. I play Sky Tether against the aggro decks for a one mana removal spell. So like, you know, mono white, mono red, mono blue, uh, those kind of decks. No Vivian. No Vivian. Wait. I just realized I'm not even playing any of my blue lands. I need to play a breeding pool there. I I played the um 
Temple Garden because they knew about it, but the Sun Petal was was a, a bad choice over the Glacial Fortress. Because I want on turn 6 to be able to at least steal one thing on turn 6. But I guess we're going towards turn 8. Come to me. Hmm. Yeah, my I I have it set up right now as like random avatar, um, which I guess after the update it changed to random avatar. I didn't manually set that, and I haven't manually set it back. Okay, so they contempted the angel and not the Vivian. Meet I was kind of expecting the Vivian to get contempted. Really good turn for us there with the the three two branch walker. Definitely wanted the branch walker that could trade with Jade Light Ranger. So good, you know. I, I like that a whole lot more than the two one branch walker. So that was certainly good. And this game's looking awesome for us. Opponent again isn't there. They go, but they're not hitting lots of land drops. The wilds are my shield. And we can safely attack with Shalai here and have just Lyra back on defense because the opponent can't just use a removal spell on Lyra because of Shalai. So Shalai protects Lyra. So Lyra, like, they can't just, like, yeah, so, like, they have Trophy. They weren't going to be able to Trophy Lyra and then attack Vivian, for example, because they have to kill, um, they have to kill Shalai first. So they'd have to have Removal Spell for Shalai plus Removal Spell for Lyra. You can't stop nature. Okay, so I don't have my arena open right now, but looking at your original band tokens list, I know I took out the three Teferi because I don't like that card. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and so you got some Karns and Divine Visitation in there. Uh, yeah, I could certainly see Divine Visitation being really good with that. And then playing sideboard Shalai. Well, well, Shalai doesn't protect Visitation like as, it, as an enchantment. Like They can still target Visitation. But yeah, I had Sideboard Shalai in there, but... Um, so that was that was a pretty impressive win over a Soul Tide deck there. They didn't have, like, the best of hands, but that was a pretty impressive win after getting beaten up by not hitting land drops earlier in that matchup. Okay, Shalai Protect Deputy. There you go. Okay. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Our first hand is just too expensive with double crisis, Lyra, and like two lands. Like we were just not going to be able to, we weren't just playing our spells. So trying a six card hand and I like this one. I like this one more with the branch walker right away. Sorry, Krasis.
Basic planes. Is this another mono white aggro? I would prefer that to like a control deck to like Esper control. All right, Boros. I can I can handle Boros. What does our opponent have here? Did nothing on turn one or turn two. They were on a six-card hand as well. We were both on six-card hands going into this. What are you thinking, Hawkeye? Is this a Divine Visitation deck? I can see this being a Divine Visitation deck. I don't think it's worth the attack here when our opponent could just see, have it like another war boss or they could just have like a lightning strike on deputy. Um, I don't think that three points is too important on us. Banefire. So if Banefire is their removal spell, that's got to be their only removal spell, right? Like that's like their last ditch effort removal spell kind of thing. You know, they're not they're not sitting over there with like, you know, lava coils or whatever, like anything else. They're bane firing. So but still sitting back with the branch walker. Cause I like our chances in the late game with our hand here of Vivian and some Kraysai. Um so I think playing defense is is important. To help us get there. And we're hoping to draw that fifth land for Vivian. I'm like if we don't draw the fifth land, I'm likely just casting the Krasis for two. And cycling it. Gobos. Now I may just be casting this Krasis either way. Have enough protection for a Vivian. Yeah, Goblin Banneret does not say visitation. That's a good point. A long time. I do like having Seal Away. That's a good card. Hmm. I think we're doing okay. Our opponent only has one card in hand. I think we're doing just fine. That we can just play this Krasis to, you know, cycle, draw another card, try to get a land drop, all that kind of stuff. Good job, Parappa. Man, I haven't... Nobody's come in and say they've done bad with the Singleton deck. 
but it, it also hasn't been somebody, nobody's gone in and been like, yeah, I just went like 2-2, two, two, a bunch. It's just a whole lot of people doing really well with it, so that's that's really cool. And it's been, it's been a lot of people saying they've done well at the Singleton. So yeah, I'm really glad to hear that. Of course, if you missed our Selesnya Singleton deck, you can find the deck list here in Stream Decker, and of course you can see the video on YouTube as well. The YouTube link has the video also. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. And we'll block the banneret. And then be able to seal away this war boss. And then we just gotta deal with the 2-2. Yeah, I don't like the Rat deck and the Persistent Petitioners deck in Singleton. I feel like those are just against the spirit of Singleton. And I don't like that those are um, decks, but... But oh well. I didn't read through hell till balance comes. <laughs> yeah, and you don't like Nexus? Yeah, that sounds like a fair trade. So this is a 4-2 first strike until on a turn. Um, okay, they're attacking Vivian. I'm going to let Vivian take it. Because, uh, you know, I don't really care about Vivian ult or anything. If they were attacking me, honestly, I may Ooh. just block with the Llanowar ult instead we're of taking started. four. Um, we, we see them have Bane Fire and everything and Lightning Strike and stuff. And so I may honestly just... Uh, block there. I've seen things that would break someone like you. All right, I'm already gonna play. I'm already playing just double Resplendent Angel this turn, so I'll just get a tap land in. <laughs> I use a Nixlon's Binding on a Rat. Never seen a quicker concede. Yeah, we got to Shalai play Shalai against the Mill deck, uh, and you know, like they were looking at like Shalai, looking at me, looking at Shalai. And they're like, oh no. That one took a little bit. Okay. This is, let me see if this works. Yeah. Good, that worked. Okay, so this is the the new emotes. These are three, the first three, first three of the six. We're gonna have a, a five win dream emote. Um, you know, so five wins like in a cloud, um, the pack opening, you know, cracking a pack open, and a Santa. So how how do those look? Um, sideboard wise, let's get some sky tethers, some settles. Treating this like mono white. Uh, Night of Autumn can just gain some life. We'll just gain some life. Uh, I don't even know if Night of Autumn is going to be good enough, honestly. Cool. Parappa likes him. I commissioned them. Yeah, I did. I didn't draw them. No. I commissioned those. We'll get rid of Vivian. This is 63. What else are we cutting? I guess deputies. Maybe we just cut deputies against like the red deck. Deputies are okay though. It's like slowing the opponent down and stuff. They're playing a bunch of tokens. Actually, let's keep some deputies. Oh yeah, I took out Lanwar Elf last time. I kind of liked that. Yeah, 
settle is certainly important. The Santa is for when people gift gift subs to other people. Um, or a gifting sub. No, we don't have any crushing canopies in our sideboard. We have like Knight of Autumns that can destroy enchantments. Uh, don't have the don't have the removal against um, flyers though. So we're going to be be adding to all these emotes here. Awesome. But M MTG bot just put in there. We're going to be adding to those. I'm going to be getting I have to get rid of like 3 of my emotes. Uh get, going to get rid of a couple old ones that don't don't see uh don't see use anymore. Um Let's just put this into play tapped and pass. You know, I, I could play Deputy Detention on this Vanguard, but I think I actually just want to... I'll just hold up Negate here, because I want to play Shalai next turn. Like, Shalai next turn is, is certainly the goal. Or, not really goal, but, um... Like, that's that's one thing I'm going to be doing, for sure. And so if I play one Shalai next turn, if I play the 3-drop this turn, I'd have to pay 2 life to play Shalai next turn, and I just don't think we need to pay the 2 life, necessarily. Alright, so let's go Shalai. Deputy is looking good. This is perfect. So we get to Deputy, the two Phoenixes away, and have Negate available for Deputy also. We'll go and shock in there. Wow, that is nice. And they can't target Deputy because of Shalai. Deputy with Shalai. Like, that's, that's a good combo. That's a good combo. I think our opponent probably has Lightning Strike. They want me to block with Shalai and then able to Lightning Strike Shalai. Do we even need to play Hydroid Crisis here, or should we just hold up our Negates? I feel like we should just hold up the Negates. Hey, Celtics Banner. Man, getting rid of... Like, Rekindling Phoenix is usually a hard card to deal with. And getting rid of two of them for one card and you get a 1-3? Wow. Yeah, we're just going to hold up. You know, we could could do something or you know we could have played a crisis but instead we're just gonna hold up hey hmm activate shalai nah let's get rid of this banneret um cause that thing's kind of scary it can attack for a whole lot of course i'm not attacking with deputy here because it the sky tether just gives it defender so it can it can block. So attacking with deputy would be a bad bad idea into something that can block. Hmm. 
Just gonna be patient. Nah, Hawkeye's in shape. He looks great. I don't get to have negate up anymore if I play this. Still just kind of wins the game though. All right, four and one with Bant Angels. Lost to the Esper Control. Since then we've been. Uh, um. Been winning, and I guess we beat Soltai twice then, didn't we? If we lost to Esper Control, I guess we did beat Soltai twice. I was thinking that we lost to Soltai earlier, but we've only had one loss, and I remember it was against Solt uh, Esper. So, yeah, so I guess we beat Soltai twice. Um, all right, we are on to the final boss again. Here we go. Two matches. Or two leagues, both final bosses. And it looks like we got a mirror match for the final boss here. With us having uh, Gideon, opponent having Gideon. Dun, 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 dun. Mirror match. They got to scry a bunch. They just put them all on top. Huh. Every single one on top? Seems a little unlikely. Yeah, we are getting a final boss emote. Um... It's gonna be. It's gonna be like. It's gonna say like final boss down the side. Or like down. Like final on down the one side and boss down the other side with a picture of Bowser in between. Yeah, so no curious obsession from the opponent yet. They kept them, they kept them all on top and none of them was curious obsession. That can't possibly be. Correct. Dun, 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 dun. Extra life emote. Okay, that could be that could be one for the future. If we get there, um, it's crisis for two. I think our opponent probably has a counter spell here. So I don't really want to just play the Shalai into the counter. I'd rather have the Hydrocrasis that allows me to draw another card. Hmm. Oh, Sephiroth would have been a good final boss, wouldn't it? Oh, I messed up. Sephiroth would have been a be probably a better one. It just, you know, Bowser's just so iconic. Hmm. I kind of messed that up. Alright, so Sky Tether's in, Negate's in, Johnny out, um, Branch Walker out, honestly Branch Walker is probably not very important here.
I think I like Vivian. We'll see that this could be a mistake of keeping Vivian in over Crazy over Branchwalker. But I kind of like having like this top end. A fast start, kinda. I'll just mull again. The tail of two hands. Do you want all the lands or none of the lands? And I'm not attacking into a trickster here. There you go, Jelly. Getting that flood emote out. I do like I do like some real estate, but we have plenty over here. Drowning in all this land. Draw a new card. So I'm chumping the trickster. I'm not gonna let them draw more cards. I'm just gonna sit back and chump this, chump this thing for a little bit here. Spell Pierce won't do a whole lot for our opponent. Hey, Xanthus. We are flooding hard. Yeah, we're, we, we got to go down to 22 lands in this deck. <laughs> sub in for the 20th month you are amazing thank you so much xanthos um anything to change i get these branch walkers in basically the last thing is i'm not sure if i want to play two branch walker or two vivian i guess i'm just going to play branch walker we got hydro crisis for extra cards Thanks, Anthos. So that's six subs on the day. Oh, we haven't cracked open a pack yet. Yeah, no, we never we never won with the pack, so we'll do that after this match here. <laughs> Flood algorithm online. I uh, love all the people getting the hype hype boats in for our 
uh, resub there. Thanks, everybody. And yeah, if you're enjoying the stream also and like to help support me uh, being a full-time streamer here, consider hitting that sub button. You get all 19 of those awesome emotes, but those are going to be even increasing in the future. We're going to be getting more emotes. Alright, so good news is next turn we do get to double spell with... Uh, well, we get to double spell with removal, but... Um, hmm... But a dive, to, a dive down protects our our opponent. So you know what? Let's let's just go crisis. Or we can just trade with storm tamer. Alright, they tapped for a turn, but we'll have uh, Lyra next turn now. So that's what we want against Mono Blue with the Angels decks, is you want to be able to get to a spot where you can resolve your Flyers. Um, well, you know, like they're holding up like their Spell Pierce and, disdain and Dive Down and things like that. And boom. Five and one again with Ban Angels. Two five and ones on the day. So our matchup against, ooh, we got a mythic and two rares, but all gems. So it was a, an allegiance, an allegiance, and a dominaria. So 80 gems to go along with our 2100 gold. Very nice. So we struggled a whole lot against uh, Esper Control. So maybe, maybe we need a little bit more in the sideboard against Esper, but the Sky Tethers were awesome um, against aggro. We certainly have a really good aggro matchup with the Sky Tethers and Stellar Wreckage just, just coming in. This deck is built to beat aggro. Um, our our uh, control matchup, though, is pretty tough. Um, we do have the counter magic. I mean, if we, you know, we just didn't have very good hands either time. Like, we kind of got stuck on mana and things. We can win, but overall we're not favored um, in those games against Esper Control. But that's I think that's a, an okay spot to be. Just So not favored against Esper Control, but pretty good everywhere else. Definitely really good against Aggro. And we beat Sultai twice, so that's, that's really promising, uh, having a, a decent Sultai matchup. I kind of liked what we had going on here. I honestly liked having these enchantments. I liked Seal Away a ton. Seal Away and Sky Tether in the aggro matchups. Um, I think my least favorite card in the deck was a Johnny. I, I don't think that a Johnny is probably necessary. This could this could be something else in my opinion. Um, not exactly sure what, but that could that could change. Um, Putting into fairies kind of puts you at, at maybe too many fives. I think I'd want to keep this at like four or less. Um, so yeah, I think that was my least favorite card, but it it worked pretty well. So there we go, ban angels. All right, all right, take care, Glaive. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. And I guess before you go, let's go ahead and crack open this pack so you can see it. Uh, Get a pack opening here. We're open up rivals packs. I'm uh, seeing if we get a storm the vault. I want to make a storm the vault deck. And we've opened up two storm the vault so far since I've been saying that. And we got a golden guardian. Man, I forgot about this card. I need to make a golden guardian deck too. This the gold forge garrison. That land is ridiculously powerful. Easily the most powerful land in standard. Just add two mana of any color. Okay, well, check that. I, there's actually some of... Never mind. Some of these other flip lands are also really good. Maybe not easily the most powerful. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to walk that back a little bit. Um, but it's pretty cool art, too. 
just an army of four fours. Cool card. All right, so there you go. If you're watching this later on YouTube, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.